Lando Norris is finally driving a Formula One car that can win races regularly, making this season a prime opportunity for a championship challenge. However, mistakes at crucial moments have left many questioning if he's truly ready for the top. With some tough advice coming his way, the pressure is on Norris to step up his game. Lando Norris was visibly frustrated with himself after the Belgian Grand Prix, where he lost valuable ground to championship leader Max Verstappen. Norris initially crossed the finish line in sixth place, which was later elevated to fifth due to George Russell's disqualification. Despite starting ahead of his teammate Oscar Piastri, Norris saw Piastri finish on the podium, ultimately securing second place. Norris's race began poorly. He dropped back immediately and found himself in seventh place by the end of the first lap. By lap two, Verstappen was already closing in on him, despite starting seven places behind Norris. This performance followed a series of concerns raised about Norris's consistency this season. In Hungary, Norris struggled off the line and lost out to Piastri, who went on to win the race. The first half of the season has been marked by skepticism about Norris's readiness for a world championship title. Pundits like Ralph Schumacher have questioned whether Norris is truly prepared for the top spot. There was also debate about his character after he shifted his stance on the crash with Verstappen at Silverstone. Now, Peter Windsor has added another layer to the discussion, suggesting that Norris might benefit from re-evaluating his lifestyle and approach to racing. Can Norris become an F1 world champion? Peter Windsor has shared some blunt advice for Lando Norris, emphasizing the need for a major shift in Norris's approach if he hopes to succeed in Formula One and compete against his teammate, Oscar Piastri. Reflecting on Norris's performance in Hungary, where he eventually had to let Piastri overtake him, Windsor stated, The only way to operate is to think only of Lando Norris. Lando needs to toughen up if he is going to beat Piastri. He needs to be a secret that Oscar doesn't understand. He is too much of an open book. And that's wrong. I think it's wrong for a driver at Lando's level. Windsor criticized Norris's public persona and social media presence, arguing that it detracts from his racing career. He's become too much of a global social media star. You have created a persona then that you have to live up to. That persona won't beat Piastri and win a world championship for McLaren. That persona is one the fans love and think he's funny. They scream and shout and want to do selfies. That's a meaningless persona that does nothing for you as a racing driver. It's a distraction and he should get away from that, Windsor said. He further advised Norris to overhaul his lifestyle to focus solely on racing. Lando is a sweet guy and I imagine he'll be embarrassed by that. He doesn't need that. He needs to be a hard, tough racing driver. He needs to get rid of social media, cut it all off and become a bloodthirsty racing driver. He needs to trim down his life, trim down the way he operates as a professional Formula One driver. Become a race driver. Get out of Monaco. Live in a house in an urban area, maybe near the factory. Become a different person as hard and as tough as nails, Windsor concluded. What did Hamilton say about Lando Norris? Seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton believes it is not impossible for Lando Norris to win the 2024 Formula One World Championship. Despite inheriting the victory at Spa-Francorchamps due to his Mercedes teammates' disqualification, Hamilton noted that McLaren's recent performance dip hasn't undermined their overall progress. I think McLaren have maybe dropped off a little bit in some of the last few races, he said, but apart from that, it's a team that is performing very, very well now. McLaren's team principal, Andrea Stella, expressed surprise that the team wasn't further behind at the season's midpoint, given their lack of major updates since the Miami Grand Prix. We haven't brought many new things to the track since Miami, which was quite an extensive upgrade, Stella said. But we still have a few more changes in the pipeline that we will bring in the second part of the season. Stella acknowledged that Norris has faced challenges, including small mistakes like the one at the start of the Belgian Grand Prix. We always work closely with both drivers to see where they can improve individually, Stella explained, highlighting the ongoing efforts to address performance issues and optimize their approach as the season progresses. Further, Andrea Stella has emphasized that while there will be no fundamental changes to the team's approach, they are closely analyzing recent missed opportunities particularly those affecting Lando Norris at the start of races. 
We will not change anything fundamentally, but these missed opportunities, which Lando has recently had more at the beginning of the races, give us something to analyze. We need to find out whether there is a reason for this or whether it is just coincidence," Stella explained. Oscar Piastri's strong podium finish at the recent race was notable, though he had a mishap during a pit stop, accidentally hitting a mechanic with the front jack. We have to work with the drivers to ensure that they don't overdo it in these heated moments, Stella said, acknowledging the need to refine pit stop precision. Despite these issues, he expressed satisfaction with the team's consistency and strength. We are the only ones who have always been able to score points, and we have now achieved 10 podium places in a row, he added. Stella also voiced surprise at Red Bull's recent dip in performance. If you had asked me before the race in Belgium, I wouldn't have been sure whether we could make up any points on Red Bull. I expected Max Verstappen to fly through the field, he admitted. Norris remains Verstappen's closest challenger for the 2024 driver's title, but with 10 races left, the gap is a substantial 78 points. Mercedes' Lewis Hamilton acknowledges the challenge. That's a big number. It's been a while since I fought for the title, but I think there was a point where I was 40 points behind. McLaren is performing very well, so it's not impossible, but it will be a very, very big challenge. Lando Norris admits Hay cannot compete for the F1 World Titler. McLaren has been a standout team this season, competing strongly against top rivals like Red Bull, Mercedes and Ferrari. Despite their impressive performance, the Lando Norris-led team has struggled to claim the top spot in the World Championship standings. Lando Norris has amassed 199 points so far, putting him in second place in the Drivers' Championship. Although the 24-year-old has delivered remarkable performances, he has only secured one race win. Norris's challenge has been his tendency to make mistakes at critical moments during races, which has prevented him from achieving more victories. Reflecting on his season, Norris has expressed his intent to use the summer break to reassess and address his weaknesses. In an interview with Sky Sports F1, he acknowledged, I'll do what I can already yesterday, today, tomorrow, when we come back before Zandvoort, all time and during the summer holiday, a time where I can review and kind of reflect on my good things and also the things I need to and have to improve if I want to be a contender. At the minute, I simply don't have what it takes because I've clearly made too many mistakes. Despite these setbacks, Norris has shown glimpses of his talent behind the wheel. He plans to harness this potential during the summer break, aiming for a fresh start at the Dutch Grand Prix in Zandvoort. With a renewed focus and determination, Norris hopes to overcome his previous errors and strengthen his position as a title contender. Andrea Stella refutes comments on McLaren having the best car this season. McLaren team principal Andrea Stella has downplayed the hype around his team's strong performance this season. Stella believes that the top four teams, McLaren, Red Bull, Ferrari and Mercedes, are all very close in terms of pace. Stella explained, There are four cars that are pretty much at the same level, noting that differences in track conditions and weather can affect performance. McLaren has been competitive this year, challenging Red Bull and outperforming Ferrari and Mercedes. Stella said each team has its own strengths, depending on factors like tire management and weather conditions. The team's progress from struggling in the top five to winning races is impressive, and they aim to continue improving. With the Formula One season set to resume at the Dutch Grand Prix in August, McLaren and driver Lando Norris are looking to close the 78-point gap to championship leader Max Verstappen. Norris recently responded to criticism about being too nice, saying he could be more of an idiot but doesn't feel it's necessary. McLaren is hoping for a strong finish to the season and their first championship win since 2007. So what do you think of the brutal advice that Lando Norris received and admitting to it? Comment below and subscribe for more.